Plants vs Zombies was an amazing game when it was released way back in 2009. Not only did it revolutionise the tower defence genre and win the Game of Year award, but it also just feels complete. So that's what I want to explore today. What does Plants vs Zombies do to make itself feel complete and not a cheap ripoff? I am going to be covering the 5 areas that I think make this game achieve this feeling of completeness, and how these can be implemented into your games to make them feel complete as well. The first major aspect that makes Plants vs Zombies so good is that it nails its theme. Its theme is well, using plants to defend your house from zombies, and this game wears that theme proudly. Here are a few good examples. Firstly, every stage is another area of your house, going from the front yard to the backyard and eventually the roof. Your only ally is your neighbour, Crazy Dave, the shop is the back of Dave's car, and lawnmowers are used to give you a chance to rebuild your defences if the zombies break through once. I mean even the home screen and the UI is all based on the theme. This connects the whole game together as every section of this game screens plants for zombies. So if you want to make your game stand out, find a theme that makes it unique and base all your design choices on that theme. The campaign of Plants vs Zombies to me is made perfectly, as it gives the player a fresh, satisfying experience throughout playing it. A good campaign will keep the game from becoming stale and repetitive. So how does Plants vs Zombies nail this? Well, firstly it separates its 50 levels into 10 level blocks, which each have their own restrictions and gameplay elements. Like how the nighttime levels don't have sun falling from the sky, and the roof is slanted so you have to use catapults. These areas also stay to the theme, making them feel believable. As randomly going from the front yard to the far future from Plants Zombies 2 will feel random and not connected. Why this works in the second game is that the theme of that game is time travel, so it fits there. Secondly, you get a new plant nearly every level and have new challenging zombies to deal with in a lot of the levels. These keep the gameplay fresh and interesting, as there's always something new to learn. Lastly, there are mini games in the campaign like Walnut Bowling and Vast Breaker, which are completely different from the usual tower defense gameplay to give the player a small fun break from the usual game. An added bonus of this campaign is that it is replayable as it gets more difficult after going through the first time. So, to cut it simply, build your campaigns to include new experiences along the way to keep it from becoming stale. The challenges I am referring to are these extra levels that you unlock after finishing the campaign on the home screen. Now these are a very important aspect for making a game feel complete, as there's nothing more amazing than completing the campaign and then realising that there are new ways to play. Without these campaigns the game would end right here, which in turn makes the game feel empty as there's no need to come back and play. Having these challenges allows players to return and maintain their investment in the game. Don't get me wrong, like I said earlier, a strong campaign is necessary, but having other challenges that change up the gameplay gives the game a nice boost of freshness. Like look at what Plants vs Zombies has to offer. Survival modes, puzzles, and 20 mini games. This basically begs you to keep playing after you finish the campaign, and gives the audience trust in the brand as there's more than just a simple campaign in the game. So a good way to make your game not feel lacklustre is by adding challenges that shake up the gameplay after the campaign. I am placing Endless Mode separate from challenges, as the purpose of an Endless Mode is completely different. Its purpose to me is to be a final challenge for the player to test their skills. As every other challenge can be completed, this allows the game to continue to be played even after everything else is completely done as it is endless. Plants vs Zombies does this well with endless modes for both the puzzles and the game in general. I just kind of wish I was an endless mode for all the stages. Another example of a game that has endless modes is Kingdom Rush with its endless modes which also allow the player to test their skills and continue playing after finishing everything else. So if you want to increase the longevity of your games, Find ways to add some sort of endless mode to allow players to keep on returning and testing their skills. This point isn't as necessary as the others, but adding achievements to your game like how Plants vs Zombies does allows for a nice sense of progression and gives experienced players optional challenges. Here are some of the achievements from Plants vs Zombies 
and as you can see, they fit into two categories. Optional challenges and progression. Achievements and their effectiveness in games is a topic for another day, but to cut it simply, both of these categories give the player a nice sense of accomplishment, as the player can visibly see the achievement being unlocked, which gives them a nice hit of dopamine. Like I said, not all games need achievements, but they are a good way to add depth to a game that otherwise would not be there. So, we now have a list of how to make your game feel complete and leave a positive impact to your players. If you want a second example for a game that masters these five topics, look no further than Superhot and how it has a consistent theme that can be felt throughout the game. A well-paced campaign which introduces new abilities like the introduction of hot switching in level 23. Challenges and endless modes that add a spin to the game after the campaign is done. And achievements. Not all games need these five aspects to feel complete, but they definitely help. If you take anything from this video, remember that for a game to feel complete, having more than a generic campaign is necessary. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, subscribe and gently tap that like button. Anyway, see ya!